Hello and welcome to this new short video in which we're going to talk to you about a unique course called MBA Pharma Biotech from PU MBA, Pune University MBA. So the Pune University MBA is a very reputed institute with a legacy over 51 years and it has been fostering business leadership right since 1971. It is the third best government college in Western India. Uh, as uh, assessed by the Careers 360 magazine in 2021. It is also ranked 8th under the state funded university category <coughs> by Atal rankings of institutions innovation achievement and it has many positions among the best B schools in India, right? Now this institute also offers a very unique program called MBA in Pharma Biotech which is not very well known across, but it offers a lot of good opportunity for a lot of people from sciences background, Ayurved, etc., etc., as you will see, uh, to do MBA. And they have their own mechanism that can help you get into this kind of MBA. So let's talk about this for MBA Pharma Biotech. Now, to be eligible to get into MBA Pharma Biotech, you must have either passed a 50% of marks in aggregate, right? With a, you must have that minimum. Or, and in case of reserve category candidates uh, from Maharashtra state only, a 45% is also seen as an eligibility. Or you must have appeared in the final examination in if the bachelor's or master's degree in sciences, in general, like BSc, MSc or with special in biology, chemistry, biochemistry, biotechnology, botany, chemistry, environmental sciences, genetics, life sciences, marine biology, microbiology, physics, zoology, etc. Also, if you are doing a uh, bachelor's or master's in agriculture, Ayurved, medicine, engineering, pharmacy, technology, veterinary sciences, uh, then you can also be eligible to uh, do this MBA. So a lot of you see a lot of non-regular streams you if you are from any of these streams uh, whether it's marine biology, microbiology, uh, Ayurveda, uh, pharmacy, veterinary science you have a good chance to do an MBA using this route right. So let's look at this route a little more. In addition to the uh, eligibility to get admitted you must pass out an entrance test called ATMA right and you can see the details on uh, atmaaims.com as a part of the admission procedure but I'm going to give you a quick overview of the admission procedure. Now this these, these tests are conducted and one test is very shortly going to be done one has been done on May 28, 2023 and the last one will be conducted on July 23, not very far, almost about 10 days from now. Uh, the, the candidate would be treated as eligible for admissions of the student who are doing the courses only if they pass their graduation on and before 30th September 2023, right? Now, in addition, the students, you need to qualify in the entrance examination. And uh, the two dates, one is already passed. So if you are now considering this, the exam is going to appear on, you can appear on July 23 uh, to do this examination. Now, this is a national level test recognized by Ministry of Education, Government of India, recognized by AICTE, New Delhi. And it is an examination in all India BCS to the MBA, MMS, PGD and MCA programs. Right, and of course, it is subjected to local regulations. Now, the important thing is that uh, the online registrations have started for the examination that will be done on 23rd of July. You, if you want, if you want to do this quickly, you need to do uh, the registration as you will see quickly. The, this is an online examination, and you can. There are many test center that you see here: Ahmedabad, Gandhinagar, Ambala, Amravati. And you can see all of them on the, the website that we have mentioned here, atmaaims.com. So take a look at all these test center if you are serious about getting into using this route to do your MBA. 
Now, the test cut is a bit like the CAD. So, if you have been preparing for CAD, you should be fully equipped. Obviously, it will not be as competitive as CAD. It will be a lot easier. And in this, there are, 100 and, there are six sections. There are totally 30 questions each with 180 questions. And you get three hours to do that. So, and the questions are of the same time. You see verbal ability, reasoning, uh, data interpretation, uh, and uh, the quantitative aptitude. So you, it's basically the same model as CAT that you can, if you've been preparing, you would be reasonably ready to appear in this test as early as 23rd of July. Now, the important date for the ATMA test is uh, the, the center-based online test will be held from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. on 23rd of July. The date uh, commits, registrations have commenced on 3rd of June. The last date of fee payment is tomorrow. If today is 14 July of date of this recording, and the last date is 15th of July 22-3, and the last date for registration is 16th of July. So it's very short time. Once you do the payment and registration, you can print the application form latest by 23rd July, admit printing card by 20th of July, and you will be able to get the results on by 28th, right? So that's the quick run up on the important dates. The registration process for ATMA exams begins with the payment of the fee. The fee is not very big, it's 2000 rupees only can be paid using a debit or credit card, wallet, net banking or UPI only. Cash, DD and checks are not available. There is a 25% concession on fees is applicable for the women students. And 50% concession is available for candidates belonging to northeast, northeastern states of India like Arunachal, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagam, Nagaland, Sikkim and Tripura. So, Go and take a look at that website uh, for more details. Stay connected with us for such important updates in future. And uh, I, if you have any questions, do feel free to message me. Like this video was uh, made in response to a request by one of the students who messaged me on YouTube. And I'll be happy to make such videos and uh, help you do well in your career.